Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, where we talk about all kinds of fun and cool things that have to do with mountain bikes. And today, I'm hanging out with Jeff from SRAM. How are you doing, Jeff? Good, how are you? We are hanging out over here at the Blue Mountain Fat Tire Festival. Though, not a lot of fat bikes, I'm no, looking around. No. <laughs> but there's, there's some sweet bikes, but um, but I guess a lot of people are thinking it's a little hot. We're going to leave the fat at home. I don't really know, because it's sweating, dude. It's so here's the deal, folks. You, we've been talking back and forth a little bit about the Shockwiz. It's an amazing product, but we don't know a lot about it yet. We do know that it'll help tune our suspension. So for regular guys like us that really don't know what the hell we're doing, admittedly, right here, this could be a tool that could get our suspension like freaking dialed in, and we don't have to be that Uber suspension guy, like a guy from SRAM that knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna hand it over to Jeff for a moment over here, and let's let's talk about what's what's going on with this bike and what, how this whole thing works, dude. So basically we've got a dongle which attaches to any, almost any air sprung fork or a rear suspension can. And the Shockwiz reads your pressure, the speed of pressure changes, and gives you live feedback on a mobile app, which you can download on your smartphone. Nice. And helps you diagnose and address what you could do to make your suspension perform better. Most people set their suspension, they forget it, and they don't touch no, no. it ever again. That's most regular guys I, out I there. Did that. Or, or what we do is there's, there's, there's a number on the fork that exactly. says between this weight yes. range, yes. You st that yeah. doesn't attribute to style of riding, terrain. Correct. It's just temperature, an array of factors. It's how much you ate the night before. Correct. That's Correct. what you're basing your suspension Correct. on. Correct. That's not really dialed in. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a simple thing. You zip tie it to your bike. You have a little air hose that you fit to your air fitting on the fork. You do a baseline compression test, which basically you remove all the air, you hold the fork down, this guides you through it. It's super simple, it goes step by step. It takes two minutes to do an air setting on there, and then you just go and ride. It tells you if you need to ride more to acquire more data, okay. or what exactly to ride. Big hits, jumps, oh, really? flat terrain. So it's gonna give you all this live feedback. What I typically do is try to find an area where I could do an eight to say 15 minute loop. Come back, check my mobile app, okay. make a couple settings, go and do it again. Okay. Check the app, make a couple settings. So the app is so the app is gonna tell you, and I'll, I'll get zoomed in shots of all this stuff, folks. The app is gonna tell you what you've ridden so far, have you collected enough data to accurately now tune the suspension? Correct. Now question, this is attached to the air. Yes. What is that gonna do for my compression and my rebound? Very good question. So being that Very it's- Very good question. <laughs> being that we're attached to the air, this is reading how fast the air pressure changes. Thus, okay. oh. your compression and rebound. Interesting. Interesting. So by having that reading, uh, nice you're gonna be able to tell if you need more rebound or compression make those adjustments on the fly. Okay. Uh, one thing that I noticed with my own bike. I, was, I saw the pucks there, the tokens yeah. there. I wanted to ask about Bottomless that. Bottomless tokens. Okay. So I set my air pressure according to the chart on the fork like most everyone does. Yeah, I still don't know how to and do it. And I rode my bike for almost a year. Okay. Then I started tuning with Chakwiz. Mm -hmm. First thing it asked me to do was add a token. Hmm. My bike became more stable. It, I fought it less. Nice. It was going over terrain easier. Wrote it again for a few more sessions. Okay. It wanted me to add another token, so okay. I added another token. One interesting thing also with the app is that you could do uh, basically an aggressive, a playful, or an efficient tune. I was going to ask you if you can have presets because when I ride at um, <clears throat> Mountain Creek, yep, yep. I want to set it up for like Correct. enduro, Correct. hardcore stuff. Way we on yes. it, it's trail riding. Right, right. Well, one thing you're going to want to do is record your settings because okay. this won't remember it. This won't remember them, so you still have to write your settings yep, down. Yep, or okay, take a screenshot. Cool. That's that. And then remember how many clicks you are, which right. way are together. Okay. Uh, I've done each tune for my local trails. All right. And personally, I'm liking the aggressive tune. I, right. I just, it fits Works my style Works riding. Yep, exactly, exactly. All right, so this will, so after you get it tuned into those different types of riding, yep. you've got it there. Correct. So you, it's not a as, matter of- As long as you remember, that's awesome. Where your settings are, you can just go and readjust it. Okay. Now, one thing that's going to happen as you ride more mm -hmm. or the temperature changes, right. you're going to have to make these adjustments later on. Okay. Which is why it's a great idea to ride with this full time. Well, that, that's what I was going to ask. I mean, is this something you leave on your bike all the time? I would. Now, really? What you could do is demo unit. 
okay. make some changes. All right. But depending on where you're riding, it, you're gonna have to change your your settings. Okay. So it's great if you own it and ride with it full time. Gotcha. I don't plan on ever peeling them off my bike. Just All right. Well, now let me let me throw this one at you. Okay. So Jeff works for SRAM. That doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> He's got one. I don't know if this is his personal bike, but let's just say it is. There's one on the front and one on the back. So. That's a bit of coin for the regular guy. Yeah, yeah. Question, where would, or does it even make a difference? If I was going to take one and leave it on my bike all the time. Fork. Fork. Yeah, I mean, That's so what I want to know. Fork. Okay, so you but want to leave it on there the most. Say you, you're out riding, carry a couple zip ties, a diagonal cutter. You could tune your fork and then just swap that over to the rear can. Nice. And then tune that also. Cool. And, you know, maybe 45 minutes of trail time mm -hmm. tuning, and right. you're, you're dialed in. Okay. And then you, you'll remember those settings. Cool. All right, man. Well, look, this has been huge. Um, I can't. I'm gonna bring my bike over a little. Uh, maybe I can bring it over. Absolutely. Give it a shot. Yeah. Anything like that. You should do that. But um, the, probably my buddy Brian talking right now. <laughs> Doing an interview, Brian. All right. Well, Jeff, look, dude. Thank you so much for this. This is a lot of help. I, I picked up some things I didn't know before. Yes. Yep. And um, we'll take it from there, folks. Keep the party on the pedals. Thanks for having Jeff over here, giving us some info, and we'll catch you later. Bye, bye. Thanks, man. Cool. I really thank you thank for you that. Gentlemen.